Alright, we're going to give you um, some shoes as well that are over there, so we'll give you a whole heap on a pair that fit you. But before you get those on, I'm going to give you some booties to put on. Don't matter, don't worry, don't worry if they're a little bit wet, you're going to get very wet for the rest of the day, okay? We're putting on our boots, and there's an awful lot of rubber floating about. Not quite sure what's going on. I'm going to take photos of you guys all the way through anyway. So, and that's yeah. all part of the trip. So, let's send those out to you. A few people look a little bit nervous. Great, you all know what you're in for now. Anyone want to go home? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I did try my wet bag earlier, and it's a proper wet bag. It gets wet inside, so that's a lot of use. So uh, anyway, won't be to use the video, but I'm sure the, the photos will tell the tale. We are back from our <clears throat> almost unbelievable adventure. I can't, I can't quite uh, believe we've done what we've done today. It just seems so extreme and odd. But we've done it, so and now. They're making us a barbecue. Oh, Sharks, so here comes that thing again. What did you think of today's group then? Oh, this is the best group that we've ever had. <laughs> <Love it>. Ever. <laughs> yep, ever. Ooh. Hey, John. Hello. What did you think of today's group? <laughs> today's group was awesome. <laughs> but I'm going to say that because, you know, that's what I do. Uh, what did you think of today's group? Today's group? Yeah. Best group ever. Well, I just asked the other two, I said, what did you think of today's group? And they gave me their views. What would your view be? Well, I'd say it's emotional, really. The, the group was emotional, I was emotional. We're all emotional together. Pretty much how it went. Thank you. Good. Yesterday, nine people with three guides abseiled down a river which had waterfalls abseiling, not beside the waterfalls, but in the waterfalls. There was quite a mixture of nationality, as it was me. And after a, what seemed like a very long one hour hike, up some steep bits and some not so steep bits, we arrived at the height of this waterfall, 320 metres up in the air, from where we were going to abseil down. I don't know how many of the group had abseiled before. I did it about 30 years ago on a on a 10 metre high viaduct up in the up in near Sheffield. But we had a quick lesson, and then we started wading down the river in our rubber suits with our rubber shoes and our hats, our plastic hats, special plastic I think, quite hard plastic, and we started to uh, abseil down waterfalls. When I say down waterfalls, I don't, I don't mean the side waterfalls, I mean in the waterfalls, sometimes starting in a dry bit and then going across into the waterfall deliberately and having gallons, thousands of gallons of water bashed down on our, on our helmets. And then we had to keep looking, don't look up, he said, you'll drown. I don't know how many drops there were, I think there were about maybe six or seven. The longest one was 80 metres long, an 80 metre abseil. That was quite something. And the biggest jump was a 14 metre jump, which near the end of the day, second to the last thing we did, I couldn't do it. I looked over and my knees just went really wobbly and I felt very unhappy with it. So I abseiled down instead. I was one of two people out of our group who couldn't manage it. Everybody else did it. Well done them. So I lose a point. Given my relationship with heights, i.e. I don't like them very much, it was quite surprising I did it. I surprised myself. But did it, I did. Did it, I did do it, I did. And uh, although about three quarters of the way through, I really thought, I'll oh, just see if I can get a helicopter in now, I've had enough. The guys were very good and they said, come on, you can do it, da, da, da. think of this, do that. If you don't do it, we'll kill you, things like that. Yeah, that was definitely the most challenging day I've had on my trip so far. Apart from the day I tried to empty Janine's dishwasher without correct instructions and put everything back in the wrong place. I'm at Auckland, I'm waiting for Don and Anne to come and pick me up. I hope they are. I forgot to mention actually, um, I did get some sort of slightly irritating rope burns yesterday. There's one, and there's another bit there, and that knuckle, and over on this hand. Bit there, bit there. Yeah, I did say, uh, are we meant to be using gloves? And the guy said no, because we're using wet ropes. And also because with gloves you can't feel everything so well, you, you feel the glove. So that was fair enough, but I did manage to injure my little hands. 
I don't think I had the best technique of the nine of us. I'd say probably out of the nine of us, my technique probably, if you had a style and doing it right vote, I'd come probably about last.